Tonight on AMC, on the AMC FX feature, special effects pioneer Willis O'Brien reprises his landmark work on King Kong in the spectacular sequel, Son of Kong. Then, O'Brien teams up with effects wizard Ray Harryhausen for the tale of a giant African ape that's brought to Hollywood in Mighty Joe Young. And if you missed the first part of tonight's AMC FX, here's another chance to catch an episode of our original series, Cinema Secrets, Leading Animals. That's all tonight on AMC. The adventurer who found King Kong returns to the jungle and discovers his playful offspring in the campy sequel, Son of Kong, starring Robert Armstrong, next. Welcome to AMC EFX. I'm Stan Winston. One of the first big special effects blockbusters and the film that probably most influenced the direction of my career was 1933's King Kong. Shortly after it was released, RKO went to work on another big budget film called Jamboree, shot under the tightest security possible. In fact, Jamboree was the code name for our next film, Son of Kong. The reason for the secrecy? was to keep visitors off the set so that rival studios couldn't figure out how the special effects were done. There were three baby Kong models made for the sequel. They were built on the skeletons of the original Kong models, but scaled to appear only about 12 feet tall. All the other monsters in the movie were new, except for one brontosaurus that was seen briefly in the original. 150 workers were required for this production, which was shot for about half the budget of its predecessor. Amazingly, Son of Kong was completed and released in 1933, the same year as King Kong. And it's next on AMC EFX.